Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at Cold War Pistols of Czechoslovakia by James Brown. Once again, not that James Brown. This is, however, the same James Brown who is co-author of the book we just looked at a couple weeks ago on Japanese military pistols. And in many ways this book is set up the same way. It's got the same sort of chapter structure, the same sort of uh, organization to it. And uh, while it's about a third the size, this is right at 150 pages, uh, it is a bit more specific in subject matter. So there are only really like six main chapters to this book. It's going to cover, as the title says, actually it covers a little more than the title says, it's not strictly speaking just Cold War pistols, because it actually starts with uh, the Duo, um, and then the uh, VZ-45, and also discusses uh, some of the, the World War II and pre-World War II pistols. So uh, the CZ-24-27 is discussed, although it is not treated in the same depth as the Cold War pistols. Uh, the main ones in here that are treated in substantial depth are the Duo, uh, the VZ-45, which is a little uh, pocket pistol, and then the, the true Cold War pistols, so the CZ-50 and CZ-70, which are they were actually different designations of guns, but they're really, really similar. In fact, as Brown points out, there's really more variation within the CZ-50 than there is difference between the 50 and the 70. Um, and then uh, from there it's going to go on to cover the CZ-52, which is probably the most substantial portion of the book, then the CZ-75 and 85 in a little bit less depth because these actually weren't uh, weren't military Czech pistols in the same way that uh, that the others in the book are. Uh, and then the CZ-82 and 83, the little, uh, well, call them the equivalent to the Makarov um, in Czech production. There are then a couple of small chapters at the end covering, one of them covers basically single shot 22 target pistols, and one of them covers uh, flare pistols, signal pistols. Those are Ancillary, nice extra little data, but really the meat of this book is going to be the CZ 50 and 70, 52, 75 to some extent, and then definitely the 82 and the 83. Now, in the last couple of months, we've looked at a number of books on communist Cold War, uh, Warsaw Pact sorts of pistols, and this is one of the best. Uh, where some of the other books are more of a, you know, a sort of a an enthusiast's introduction to the subject. This is, like James Brown's Japanese pistol book, this is loaded with data. So this thing has, this book has substantial information on variations in the guns, serial numbers, dates, production ranges, what changed and when, uh, some of the context surrounding these. There's a very good explanation in here of the different factories that were that were uh, producing guns in Czechoslovakia, because that can be an extremely confusing subject uh, if you don't have the appropriate background on it, namely this book. Um, a good example of the level of detail is the description of the CZ-52, or VZ-52, uh, serial number scheme because it, it's really a fascinating setup where the Czechs deliberately tried to number the CZ-52 pistols in such a way as to convince NATO and the Western Allies that they had a much bigger army than they actually did. And so they deliberately obfuscated how many guns they were making, and by working in conjunction with one of the big importers, Brown was able to actually basically reverse engineer and decrypt the serial number system and presents a very clear layout of exactly what the numbering was and when and why. And that's a really cool element that you only get in a more in-depth book like this one. So it's definitely the sort of thing that makes you run out and grab your own CZ-52 and uh, check it over. Like, oh, do I have one of the really rare serial number blocks or a standard one or what's going on? Um, so in addition to that sort of reference collector data, there are also sections in here on accessories, which is primarily holsters. Um, the different varieties of holsters that were manufactured for each of the guns in the book. Uh, and then also information on, of course, disassembly, mechanics, and actual shooting of the guns. So there are, with some of these, uh, specific things to be aware of if you want to go out and shoot them, the VZ-52 in particular. And, although not just that one, um, Brown points out things to, specific points to inspect on the guns, uh, how to determine if 
your CZ50 or 70 or 52 has had a lot of, of uh, rounds put through it, uh, if it is in fact damaged or unserviceable, how do you find out, how do you check, and, and what do these things mean? Um, a good explanation of the decocker for the VZ-52 is in here. I should point out, um, spoiler I guess, uh, but as a general safety protocol you should be aware that the decocking mechanism in the CZ-52 should never be considered safe. Um, only ever use it when you're pointing the pistol in a safe direction downrange, because it is not that difficult for that mechanism to be, to malfunction and cause the pistol to fire when you're decocking it. And that's clearly a very bad thing. Um, and the mechanics of the, all that, including what the Czechs did to try and fix it when guns were serviced in the arsenals, all of that's included in the book. So uh, list price on this guy is a bit steep for a 150 page book. It is 60 bucks list uh, through the publisher, which is Schiffer. Um, I will have a link to Schiffer's website in the uh, description text below where you can order a copy. I'll also have a link to Amazon. There are, at the time I'm filming this, a, a handful of books available cheaper on Amazon. Um, so if you want to check that out uh, you may be able to get a bit of a deal there, but once those sell out then it, everything's going to be list price on uh, Schiffer's website. So anyway, uh, definitely a great book. It is a, a pretty limited subject matter, so there are not probably a whole lot of people out there who are just really gung-ho about post-World War II Czechoslovakian pistols, but for those of you who are, this is the obvious and definitive reference in English, well worth a place in your library. And if you're just one of those folks who really enjoys some of the, the pistols that have come out of the Eastern Bloc as surplus, uh, in the last couple of decades a lot of those guns were very cheap, a lot of those guns were Czechoslovakian. And so this is the excellent reference on what could be a really interesting little collection of uh, pistols that are otherwise underappreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned tomorrow, we'll be back with another Forgotten Weapon.